This is Integration by Partial Fractions, Part 2. In this example, the denominator consists of one linear factor that is raised to the third power. This denominator introduces three partial fractions with denominators x plus 2, x plus 2 squared, and x plus 2 cubed. On top of each, we put a constant. To solve for a, b, and c, we clear the fractions by multiplying both sides of this equation by x plus 2 cubed. In part 1, we substituted in values of x that made each term go away. This time, we will use the method of equating coefficients. To do that, we multiply everything in the right side out. Next, we group the like terms. Now we are ready to compare the left side to the right side. The left side has 1x squared, no x's, and the constant term is 0. So matching the coefficients up, we get a equals to 1, 4a plus b is 0, and the constant terms 4a plus 2b plus c equals to 0. Equation 1 tells us that a equals to 1. We need only to find b and c. Substitute a equal 1 into equation 2. We find b equals to negative 4. Now put a equal 1 and b equal to negative 4 into equation 3. We get c equals 4. Okay, the three partial fractions are 1 over x plus 2, negative 4 over x plus 2 squared, and 4 over x plus 2 cubed. Now we are ready to evaluate the given integral. The first term returns a natural log. The second one you use a u sub power rule, integral of u to the negative 2 du. And the third term is also the power rule, u sub integral of u to the negative 3 du. So the answer is ln of absolute value x plus 2 plus 4 over x plus 2 minus 2 over x plus 2 squared plus c. QED.